Hey everybody, it's me Chris. All right, I got an amazing recipe for you today. This is one of my favorite recipes and one that people always ask me about. It's stuffed peppers. I remember being a little kid, my mom made outstanding stuffed peppers and my dad going to work saying before he left, anybody touch that stuffed pepper, I'll kill you. And I'm telling you, we believed them. I think he was serious because they were that good. So my version is going to be a healthy version. I'm using ground turkey, not chopped meat. Let me show you the ingredients. I got the ground turkey here. I got two pound packages, two one pound packages. I need some white wine. I got my extra virgin olive oil. I got some cheese that I cubed up about a quarter inch dice. Whatever you got in the fridge, use what you like. This is my rice. This is my um, rice with fresh thyme. The recipes on the YouTube channel, D. Giovanna Family Recipes. I spread it out on the sheet pan so it could cool. And these are my peppers. You can see how beautiful they are. I got the uh, red, yellow, and orange bell peppers. Do not use green. They don't really have the flavor that these guys have. I got my pepper and my kosher salt. One green squash. Medium onion. I have my grape tomatoes, I got four cloves of garlic, I got a bundle of fresh thyme, I'm going to use my butcher's twine to tie it up. I got some regular white button mushrooms, I already cleaned them, I wiped them with a wet paper towel. And uh, that's all my ingredients, I'm going to get to chopping. Okay, so I started chopping my vegetables, I just want to show you how I did that. The garlic, I just smashed it. I took off the paper and I minced it up really fine. I took my thyme, I used my butcher's twine and tied it in a bundle. That's going to go in just like that. Um, my mushrooms are chopped here. All I did, I want smaller pieces, so just down, a couple cuts that way, turn it around, and cut it into little chunks. Goes right in the bowl. With my onion, whenever I'm dicing an onion, I'm going to make two cuts. Don't go all the way through. One there. One on the bottom, just watch your fingers. And then I'm going to cut down to make kind of a fine dice. Don't have to be that small, it's going to cook down. Just run your knife through it, watch your fingers. Then when you get to the end, just chop the end. And this is going right in with the rest of my, the other half of my onion and the zucchini. Get this out of the way. And then what I did with the zucchini is I cut the ends off. I cut it in half so I can work with the smaller halves. And then I cut the each half in half. Then down the middle. And then I just make a diagonal cut right down the middle. Spin it. I do the other side. And you end up with these nice bite-sized pieces. So... I'm going to finish chopping the zucchini. I'm going to get out my largest frying pan and heat it up and we'll be ready to start browning the turkey. I got the biggest frying pan I have. This is a 14 inch. I heated it up. I put about three tablespoons of olive oil and I got my turkey meat in there. I got it on high heat. I want to start to caramelize this on the bottom. And as I go, I got my wood spatula. Once it gets to where I want it to be, I'm going to start breaking it up with my wood spatula. But while that happens, I want to start getting my peppers ready show you how I prepare them to be stuffed. So I got my little paring knife here and I'm going to go in right around the top. Okay. And I'm going to pop out the top part and you'll see some seeds there. What I want to do here is I don't want to throw this out so I'm just going to with my paring knife I'm going to trim it off. Okay, throw out that top, and for each pepper, I'm going to just cut these up, little bite-sized pieces, and I'll put them in there with my mushrooms, and then the last thing I do is, I'm going to take a little teaspoon here, and I want to take out the ribs, the white and the seeds, so you just scrape it off, it comes off very, very easy. Turn it upside down in your garbage bag and just tap and all the seeds will fall out. It's nice and clean. There's nothing in there. I'm going to do that with all my peppers. Start grinding up my turkey meat and uh, show you what the next steps are. So I've been getting my peppers prepared to stuff. I took off the tops and trimmed them and look how much extra I got just by not throwing those tops away. 
I'm gonna put this right in with my mushrooms and in the meantime in between I've been breaking up my turkey meat and you can see some of this some of the caramelization that's happening there because I'm cooking this on high heat with the olive oil at this point now I want to season my turkey so a generous amount of kosher salt and I'm gonna season at every step in this process I want to layer in the flavor and a good amount of fresh cracked black pepper all right my turkey's well browned all right we're still cooking basically on high heat I'm gonna turn this all the way up and what I'm gonna do is this is an important step here I'm gonna push this to one side okay just pile it up on the side of your pan be careful so you don't lose it a little bit of olive oil extra virgin olive oil and then all my veggies I get rid of that I'm gonna use my spatula now and all my veggies are gonna go right in on this side of the pan to start cooking I got my peppers my mushrooms my zucchini and my onions Let's go right in. Okay. I got my garlic. That's going in also. Okay. And I'm gonna start cooking it on that side of the pan. I want to season the vegetables now. Remember, we gotta layer in the flavors. Some generous amount of kosher salt and fresh cracked black pepper. I'm going to keep stirring these veggies and cooking them on this side of the pan for at least five minutes. Okay, so I combined my vegetables. Once they cook down a little bit, I combined them with the turkey meat. And I added about at least two cups of white wine. You can just see this was almost a full bottle. I added my thyme bundle. I just tapped it down. I tapped the thyme down with the back of my knife to release the essential oils. And I add this on a high screaming boil here. I want to reduce all the alcohol out of the wine and keep stirring it and the aroma from the fresh thyme is really incredible and the white wine is starting to reduce um, so I just want to show you one extra trick when you're making the peppers and this is a really great tip with the skin sometimes when you roast it in the oven it gets like papery and it's really not appetizing so what I do I just take the vegetable peeler and I peel whatever I can get to you're not going to be able to get it all I'm going to peel some of the skin off get as much as you can and you can see these big pieces these are going to get all papery and um, not going to be too good on your roasted pepper but by doing that you're going to get a really nice tender pepper all right here we go so the wine has cooked down all the alcohol is out I'm going to take the thyme bundle I got all the flavor I need I'm just going to get that on the side discard it and you can see there's still a good amount of wine liquid and juices in there um, and that's great that's what we want because this what rice that is dried is going to absorb it so let me just show you I'm going to start adding the rice and what I can do is I'll just start pushing in some of this rice and this rice is going to soak up all of the flavor all of that wine sauce and it's going to be really, really incredible in our stuffed peppers. I'm going to start with three quarters of this, and I'm going to add as I need it until it's well mixed. All right, so I let my mixture cool. I got my stuffing here. I let it cool for at least 10 minutes. Uh, and now I almost forgot my one of my key, uh, key ingredients: a nice amount of grated cheese, at least a cup, cup and a half. Okay, you want a nice cheesy mix. I'm going to toss this in and I just want to try I just want to try for seasoning real quick hmm. I think it's perfect so I got my grated cheese in there I'm going to add in my cube cheese and give it a mix and I'll show you how we stuff the peppers alright so my cheese is all mixed in it's well incorporated I'm going to show you how I stuff these so start with a couple spoonfuls I'm gonna press it down into the bottom you're probably wondering why I had these cherry, these grape tomatoes I'm gonna to put right in there and that's gonna be a nice little pop of flavor and acidity 
and then a couple more spoonfuls on top and press it down. I want to get them really well stuffed. And that's one. I'm going to get the rest done. All right, so my peppers are all stuffed. And what I did before I bake them, I wanted to make a little crust on top. So I sprinkled some grated cheese. I did them all except for this one. A little pile of grated Parmesan cheese on top. And then a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. And that's going to give you additional flavor. It's going to make a crust on top and give you some nice texture. I'm going to put some white wine in the bottom to help them cook and also to add flavor. About a half a cup. And then a big piece of foil. I'm going to cover these guys. I am going to bake them in the oven 400 degrees for about 40 minutes covered. I'll take the cover off and bake them for another 20 minutes to brown the top. And, and uh, they should be done by then, but just check the peppers should be nice and tender. All right, so my peppers cooked in the oven. I had them covered in foil. They cooked for 40 minutes covered. I took the foil off and cooked them for another about 30 minutes to get some color and some caramelization on top. And here they are, they're done. I'm ready to try one. Now before I try them, I let these cool. You gotta let them cool for at least 20 minutes and let them set up a little bit. Let's see, I'm gonna try this one. And be gentle because the peppers are really, really tender at this point. So you don't want them to uh, fall apart on you. And the smell from the roasted peppers in the house is just really unbelievable. And I'm gonna cut these in half. I'll show you. You could see how just how tender the pepper is. And this thing is loaded with cheese. And you can see the tomatoes inside have cooked really, really nicely. I'm gonna give this a try. I'm gonna grab the crunchy top here and a piece of the pepper. Mm. Wow. You won't even know it's turkey because the meat is so flavorful. The cheese, the rice, it's really an all-time classic. One of my favorite recipes. You make this and invite people over, they'll be back the next day looking for leftovers. Trust me, you got to try this out. My stuffed peppers. Thanks for watching the video.